Blackie's come to say hello. Good morning, everybody. We are doing a weekend reading vlog because this weekend is Becca's Bookoplathon, Readathon. I'm so excited, and I just want to say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video, but we'll get into that in a little bit. But for now, I have to do my makeup and my hair because it's baby shower day today. So I am extremely fortunate to live in a state where um, the COVID statistics are very low. I think we've had one new case in like 20 plus days. So fortunately, that means I can have a small baby shower with my friends. So that's what we're getting ready for right now. It starts at 10.30 and it's 9.06. Oh my gosh. But yeah, Becca's Bookoplathon. Oh my gosh, it's such a cool readathon. It's inspired by her monthly TBR game. So basically she has a Bookopoly board and every 12 hours she's going to release two prompts from the board and you can choose to do any of the prompts you want. So in total there's going to be eight prompts because she's dropping two every 12 hours. She's already dropped the first two and of course I forgot to get the books from my library room so I'm going to hate myself when I'm editing this. So for me the readathon starts at 9am so it started eight minutes ago and the first prompt was to read a paranormal or magical realism or fabulism book and for me I picked paranormal and because I'm kind of busy this morning I chose a manga so we're going to be reading Flying Witch Volume 4 which was kindly gifted to me by Zara so thank you so much and then the second prompt was a chance card the idea of the chance card was to pick some books that you are really excited for and the books that you are not so excited for and pick one at random and see what you get. So I posted a poll on Twitter of two books that I'm really excited for and two books that I'm not really excited for and the two books that I'm not really excited for were in my last unhaul video but so many of you were like oh my gosh please keep them and give them a go so I put them in the poll and of course you picked one that I'm not excited for <laughs> so you picked Cersei by Madeline Miller. I don't know, I just don't think this will be my thing. I'm not a Greek mythology person. I didn't like the Song of Achilles, so I don't know. I do have the audiobook out for it though, so we might try and read it. Who knows? But that's all we can really plan for right now. So the next two challenges will drop at 9pm, which is worrying because if they're dropping at 9 every 12 hours, I am pretty much always asleep between 9 p.m. and 9 a.m. So I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're gonna give it our best shot. But for now, we've got a party to go to. later in the day. It's actually almost 6 p.m. already. So I apologize. I got like barely any footage at the baby shower because I was just like in the moment and just having fun and it was so lovely. The theme was teddy bears picnic and I just had the best time. I have the most loveliest friends. I'll probably show you a haul of presents that we got for the baby tomorrow if you guys want to see. But yeah, um, I haven't read anything yet. So we need to change that. But first I do want to talk about uh, today's video's sponsor which is Skillshare who I've been working with for the past few months and I just love them. If you didn't know Skillshare is like an online learning community where you can take thousands and thousands of classes on literally any creative avenue and Oscar's decided to eat biscuits in the background. <laughs> I'm sorry. But seriously, there are classes on there for everything from learning languages to painting, drawing, calligraphy, creative writing, bullet journaling, like literally everything is on there. So over the past few months, I've been working on a few things on Skillshare. The first one is the Korean class, Korean for Absolute Beginners 1 by Ki Hwan Kim, which I am making my way through. I have not finished it yet, but I'm working on it. And then I watched one on house plants because my Moonboots plant sadly died, but I got a new plant the other day. So we're gonna use my newfound knowledge to hopefully keep this plant alive. 
And then this time I thought, well, I want to take some photos of me and Lucas at the baby shower. So I decided to take a class called iPhone Photography, How to Take Pro Photos on Your iPhone by Dale McManus. And <laughs> let me just show you a before and after of a photo that I took today. This is the before and after taking the class and using them skills, this is the after. Like, I just feel like Skillshare is such a great resource, even if you consider yourself like an expert in whatever you're learning about. But for me, it's just learning about things that I never took the time in the past to learn about. And just like seeing the differences in like things in my everyday life, like just like taking photos on my phone. What? It's awesome. So the first 1,000 of you to click the link in my description will get two months of Skillshare Premium for free, but it's a super affordable service anyway. It's less than $10 a month and it is so worth it. So thank you so much again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate you for helping me to learn new things. But anywho, let's get into the reading. So um, I'm going to buckle down now and read Flying Witch Volume 4. And then this week I've been buddy reading The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden with my friend Paige. So I have to read today's section of this. I'm hoping that this will count towards one of the challenges that drops um, so I can count it towards the readathon. And then maybe I might start listening to Circe. Who knows? I just have a feeling I'm really not going to like it. And I was talking to Kara and Paige on FaceTime before and they said, yeah, you're not going to like it. But hey, it's the one that you guys voted for over on Twitter. So we're going to give it a go. Might DNF it if I'm not liking it and that's okay. Also, I don't know why Oscar is eating the dog biscuits. Oscar, you're a cat. Anyways, let's get to reading. And then I will check back in probably at nine o'clock when the next challenges drop. Sorry if you can hear Lucas watching TV in the background, <laughs> but I woke up really late this morning. I managed to stay up for the next challenge drop last night, but barely. I fell as asleep straight after. I was like falling asleep by 7.30, but Kara and Paige made me stay awake. So yesterday I read Flying Witch Volume 4. So this was for the first challenge drop to read a paranormal book. And this was adorable, four stars. It's just great. These don't have a strong plot, which I typically don't like, but for some reason, I, these are just so cute and fun. I just really enjoy reading them. So yeah, four stars for that one. Didn't read any of Cersei for the second prompt, but I'm, we're just not gonna do that one, I think. Then I read my section of The Bear and the Nightingale. So I have one section left to read and a challenge dropped this morning that this could count towards, so we'll get to that in a second. But that's all I got read yesterday, which is totally fine. I had a really busy day, and by the end of it, I was really exhausted. So yeah, let's get into the latest challenge drops and what we plan to read for them. So the next challenge drop that dropped last night at 9 p.m. my time. Oh my gosh, Luna, what are you doing? You wanna hop off on there? Of course you do. There you go. Um, yeah, I'm planning on doing both of the prompts for this challenge drop. So the first one is to read something culturally diverse, and for this, I was hoping 
this would fit one of the challenges and it does this is a book told in verse and i also have the audiobook from audible so i'm going to listen along and read along at the same time i love elizabeth acevedo and i'm really excited to check out her new book so yes this is on the agenda for today then the second prompt for the second challenge drop was to read something recommended to you by a viewer and this works out perfectly because this month I'm reading the top eight books recommended to me by you that were on my physical TBR. So I have another really short read that I can hopefully fly through today and that is The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum and I also have the audiobook of this from Audible narrated by Anne Hathaway which I'm really excited about so I'll probably listen to this and play Animal Crossing later I don't know so yeah we're doing both of the prompts for the second challenge drop then this morning the third challenge drop happened and the first challenge is to read a mystery thriller which I'm not gonna do I am just not that interested in mystery thrillers and I don't really have anything to read right now but the second prompt however is to read a book that was gifted to you and this is perfect because The Bear and the Nightingale was gifted to me and I only have 60 pages left of it to read. So this was gifted to me by Michelle. So thank you so much. This is perfect. Yes, I'm so glad. So hopefully by the end of today and by the fourth and final challenge drop tonight, I will have read these four things. So I've already read this and I'm almost done with this. And these we can totally do it i just hope that the last challenge drop has a challenge that i can fit something really quick in because i don't know how long i can stay awake but we're gonna try our best but for now i think lucas and i are going to go out to get some starbucks and go to the library because I have some library books that are due back today and i was planning on renewing them but people are waiting in line for them so i don't want to be a horrible person so I'm gonna return them. So first we're gonna return The Betrothed by Kira Cass. I was gonna read this for the reading rush but I have the audiobook out from my library so I can still do that if I want to. The next one is Full Disclosure by Cameron Garrett. I'm, I'm really sad about this because I really did want to read it but someone else is waiting for it so perhaps I can borrow it out again at some stage. And then the last one doesn't have to go back yet but I don't think I'm gonna read it at least not anytime soon and that is Gargantis by Thomas Taylor the sequel to Malamanda which is a middle grade series I'm just like not obsessed with it and it's not high on my priority so I'm just gonna return it and pick it back up another day I don't know so yeah that's the plan oh I feel like I should also show you what I got at the baby shower so if you don't care about baby stuff I'll leave a timestamp and you can skip ahead but uh, I am just so grateful for my friends so yeah I'm just gonna grab and show <laughs> in this first bag we have this beautiful collection of stories sorry Lucas is still watching TV if you can hear that <laughs> but this is Peter Rabbit stories it's so beautiful i need to set up my baby's like bookshelf because i've got a ton of books for baby so maybe we'll do that later then we have this hooded towel and you put this on the baby's head so they look like a chicken it's so cute and then we also have this gorgeous book the first 18 years and basically you just chronicle your baby's years until they turn 18. It's gorgeous. Then we have these adorable Winnie the Pooh headbands. Look at them. They're so cute. And we got a bunch of coat hangers for baby clothes because we really needed coat hangers. Then we got this adorable little outfit. This is from my sister. So it comes with a little hat, a little frilly bib, and a dress with like a tutu and pants. Then we also have these mini moments cards, which... I'm so thankful that she got these for us because I would have totally forgotten about it and I'm definitely going to use them. They're the little cards you use to take pictures and like upload them on Instagram. Oh, it's just so exciting. And then we have a bunch of baby wipes, which we'll definitely need. Oh, these are also from my sister. Look how cute. <laughs> then we have this stunning outfit. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, I just can't wait to dress her up. It's going to be so fun. So this is for 12 months, so she won't be able to wear it for a while, but that's okay because we have a ton of clothes for her, like zero to three months. So this is good. And then we also have this little shirt, which is so adorable. And this is uh, three months. Then we have a shampoo rinser. We have some 
pseudo cream, which is basically just nappy rash cream. We have a couple of milk feeding bibs. They have this like catcher section, which is great. We have this elephant wash mitt <laughs> and some baby wash. Then we have some more books. We have the Gruffalo. Let's go on a bear hunt, which was really cool because the theme for the party was teddy bears picnic. We have this stunning board book called Kissed by the Moon. It is such a beautiful book. We have this board book that's all about colors. It's really cool. And then we have a See, Touch, Feel, Create sensory board book, which has like all these things you can touch and feel and it's great. Then my friends got me this teddy bear and everyone who came wrote on it for baby and it's gonna make me cry when I read all of them but it's also in a really cute outfit that the baby can wear and then we got a box of nappies and we also got this essentials gift set that has um, baby shampoo sleep time bath and baby moisturizer and I think that's everything like I said I have the best friends in the world it was just such a wonderful time and yeah I'm just I'm so happy and I'm so excited. I think this really helped me because I was starting to feel quite scared. I mean, I'm still scared, but this made me feel more excited than scared because everyone else was so excited and just... <sighs> okay, we're going to go out now, go to the library, go to the grocery store and go get some Starbucks and I'll check in with you when I've read something. Hello. So don't ask how, but it's already 6 p.m. <laughs> Lucas and I went out for longer than we anticipated, but I did get a couple of holds that I had waiting for me at the library. So we have Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert, which is a romance book that everyone is raving about. So I'd really like to get to this. And then we also have Slay by Brittany Morris, which is another one that's getting a lot of buzz lately. This is all about a, I think it's this girl who created this video game or something. But then something happens in the real world and there's threats coming from both inside and outside the game. Kiera must fight to save the safe space she's created. And then I finished The Wizard of Oz. And this was one of the top books requested that I read from my physical TBR. And it was just okay. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. I think if I had read it as a kid I would have liked it a lot more. But for me it was just average but it is something that I'll probably read to my kids like I think it was fun but it just wasn't anything special for me as an almost 26 year old but that's okay. So I think now I'm going to read the last section of The Bear and the Nightingale that way I will have read one book for each challenge drop and then if I have time before the next challenge drop I will read Clap When You Land. But for now, I've got some spinach and pumpkin risotto I'm going to eat and I'm gonna finish The Bear and the Nightingale. Luna, are you excited? No? <laughs> okay, it's one, mi one minute until challenge drop number four. Challenge? Yeah. What kind of challenge? <laughs> Reading challenge. I've been doing it all weekend, haven't you noticed? Reading challenge? Yeah. Why? Why not? What are you reading? Your mind. My mind? Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's nine o'clock. Okay. Oh, I didn't even like update you that I finished The Bear and the Nightingale. I finished The Bear and the Nightingale. We'll talk about that in a second. Okay, let's see what the challenges are. Okay, prompt number seven. Young adult fantasy. Oh, that's not gonna happen, is it? Okay, what's prompt number eight? Eleven. A contemporary or a romance? <laughs> okay, let's look at my options because I wrote down options that we could do. Also, Lucas is eating food in the background. I'm sorry if you hate the sound of eating. <laughs> Okay, we could do, because I'm really tired and I don't think I'm going to be awake before the readathon ends at 9am in the morning. I could read a short story called The Eid Gift 
by SK Ali, which is kind of like an epilogue to Love from A to Z. So I could do that for like contemporary or romance. I actually think that's what I might do because I can't stay awake <laughs> that much longer. Hang on. The, the girls are FaceTiming me. Hello? Hello! Wow, this is a look. <laughs> what if we just get all nice and cozy for this little wrap up? Because I just woke up from a nap. Who's surprised? <laughs> but I did it. I managed to read four things, one prompt for each challenge drop. And I did hit a little bit of a roadblock last night because I went to open the short story and it turns out that it was only like temporarily available so the link she sent out no longer works so I totally missed the opportunity to read it I wish I knew it was temporary I would have read it sooner so I decided to go with another novella called His Bride for the Taking by Tessa Dare because Tessa Dare is probably my favorite historical romance author and it's just a novella and the audiobook was on Scribd and I had it on my Kindle and yeah so I just like listened to it last night and it was not my favorite which I'm a bit sad about I just hate the whole trope of their whole conflict is based off of one of the characters lying about everything I just I didn't love the characters either so I ended up giving it just like a 2.5 middle of the road yeah so let's wrap up everything I read uh, for every challenge and then I'll also tell you I read another book this week so I'll talk about that as well in this vlog because I don't think I'm gonna do a weekly reading update for this week because I did this vlog so we'll start off with the book that I finished on Friday before the readathon started and that was Station Eleven this was one of the books that you guys recommended for me to read from my physical TBR video and I didn't like it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I gave it a two out of five stars. It's just not my thing. I didn't like the writing style. I I wanted more of the post-apocalyptic stuff and instead we got like all of these flat, like half of the story was about this rich actor like before the pandemic started and it was just boring and I, I just didn't like it. I'm sorry. So yeah, I gave it two stars. I'm sad about it. Then the readathon started and the first challenge drop you could choose between reading a paranormal slash magical realism slash fabulism book or read a chance card book or both if you're super ambitious but I just went with reading a paranormal book and I read manga flying witch volume 4 which was adorable and fun and I loved it and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. I was going to read Circe for the chance card that didn't happen and that's okay. Then the second challenge drop the challenges were read a book that's culturally diverse I was going to read clap when you land that didn't happen that's totally okay. I did however complete the viewer recommends prompt by reading The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. And the more time that passes since I read this, the more fond I am of it. So I might increase my rating, I'm not sure yet. But um, the time of finishing it, I gave it three stars. Now I'm thinking maybe 3.5 might be a four. I don't know, I'm, I'm growing more and more fond of it. So yeah, that was also recommended to me by you from my physical TBR, so thank you so much. Then challenge drop number three, the first prompt was mystery or thriller, didn't do that prompt, or read a book that was gifted to you, and I finished The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden, which was also one of the books recommended to me by you from my physical TBR, and I really enjoyed this. I gave it a 3.5, but it's closer to a four. I think I really like the direction that I think it's gonna go in as soon as we were introduced to like the winter king guy i was like yes this is what i want but it just was a very slow build up and even though i was enjoying it it was atmospheric it was just quite slow but i am excited to continue on with the series i think it's gonna be great and then the last challenge drop the first prompt was reading young adult fantasy didn't do that the second prompt was to read a contemporary slash romance and like I said, I read His Bride for the Taking, which I gave a 2.5 stars. So that's it. I read four things over the 48 hours and I read five things throughout the entire week, which is honestly not too shabby. So that's going to be it for this vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you again so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And I will see you all 
in a new one really soon. Goodbye!